How's it going? And welcome back to the YouTube channel. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. It is me again, Justin Hallman. Uh, we got a brand new whiskey here for you guys to uh, witness us try. It is again lengthy like the one is yesterday. Uh, the back end has a lot to read. But before we get into that, you guys already know Cody Huss. Hey guys. Daryl Evans. What to do? And we got a new guest today. Uh, another friend of ours. Been a friend for many, many years. Probably close to a decade. But Mark Mapes on the end What's here. Up? Hey, we all do our own little thing. Mark does gaming. He does music. He drives a truck, and I drink whiskey for you guys. So <laughs> It's a great living. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us can't pick and choose our lifestyle. <laughs> um, this one is another bottle that uh, I got yesterday. There was another top shelf, top shelf bottle that we got from the local ABC store that would allow me to walk around. Yeah, one that I've been waiting to try for a long time. I've been meaning to get this one for months, and... He finally got it, so we're pulling the trigger on it today. I guess uh, great my great whiskey entrepreneurs, I think alike. I think Daryl's staring into his life right now. No. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it is called High West Whiskey. Those look slightly like blue collar comedy. <laughs> I was thinking it says American Prairie Bourbon. It I've does. never heard that. Like, it's High West Whiskey, American Prairie Bourbon, a blend of straight bourbon whiskey bottled by High West Distillery in Park City, Park City Utah, Utah. Okay. which is com. From you guys, you all know I'm Central North Carolina, so Utah's probably how many miles from here? Oh, Park City, roughly. 2,000. 2,000 miles from here, and for this bottle to show up at a local ABC store is almost nearly impossible. Um, the batch number is 19E16. It's 46% alcohol by volume, so if you double that like you normally do to get your regular proof, 46 and 46, that gets you a 92 proof whiskey that is going to hopefully knock our rocks off. I was actually in Park City when he called me and told me you got this. <laughs> I literally was in Park City, Utah when he called me and told me you got this. So, I know guys, I usually show you guys the bottle up close, but I'm sorry we are uh, like eight foot from the screen today. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, all the guys here tonight in the video, so I had to pull back just a tad a lot. And uh, you're not gonna be able to see the bottle really that much. It has a, uh, I'm not sure what that is on the front. It's like a zebra it's an antelope. Okay, it's an antelope on the front underneath the actual tile. You have a tile for here. Anyone, for anyone here. that lives in Wyoming or Utah, it's a goat. Okay, so while you guys enjoy their beautiful faces, I'm going to read the back of this bottle to you. It is uh, about three friggin' paragraphs long. Oh, wow, long. yes, it is. And uh, we're going to see what they have to say. Again, like yesterday, I have not read this yet, so I'm kind of almost as curious as you guys are. I'm going to kick back and take a nap while you read this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, High West Distillery is a passionate about the American West natural beauty. That's why we want to raise awareness of one of the most fantastic projects of our time. The American Prairie Reserve in northwestern Montana, this is an amazing effort to assemble the largest wildlife reserve in the lower 48 states. When stepping onto the plains of the American Prairie Reserve, it is easy to imagine the landscape as Lewis and Clark and the Native Americans saw it. Could be a lie. Um, you know how I am, guys. Uh, it's easy to imagine the landscape as Lewis and Clark and the American Natives saw it. It is thundering herds of bison, racing bands, and pronghorn, antelope, and prairie dog towns dotting in the horizon. Uh, when complete, the reserve will approximately be 5,000 square miles, larger than that, 5,000 miles larger than Yellowstone, Yasmite, and the Grand Teton National Parks combined. Um, you said what? Oh, Grand Teton. I said Teton. It's close enough, okay? <laughs> uh, so, that is as big as all those national parks combined by 5,000 square miles. Go to AmericanPrairie.org to learn how to visit and support its worthy cause. Again, guys, that's AmericanPrairie.org. Uh, Go check that out. You might say, uh, drop in a donation or something to help them out and see what their cause is all about. Um, capable of running at speeds of 55 miles per hour, the pronghorn antelope is North America's fastest land mammal and performs the because or forms the continent's second longest land migration of more than 500 miles. Uh, because of their love of travel, pronghorn require large areas of open and intact grasslands. Moreover, pronghorn populations have decreased 98% since the 1800s. Due to habitat destruction, American Prairie Reserves have helped prolong 
the pronghorn through its ongoing fence removal efforts. Anyone that's ever drove across I-80 knows good and well there's the population is still there. <laughs> <laughs> and by conserving wildlife corridors. The last paragraph, and finally, but I'm sure not least, our American prairie is very carefully, oh, sorry, our American prairie is a carefully crafted blend of straight bourbons at least two years old. Uh, sourced whiskey, see highwest.com for details, making a great sipper and a thoughtful person's whiskey. High West pledges to donate 10% of our after-tax profits from the sale of this bottle to the American Prairie Reserve. Be thoughtful and help us protect and preserve American natural resources. So, it's pretty much a bottle explaining that they are trying to help antelopes and the prairie. Well, and problem horn and antelope. But, but they're they're trying to help all the animals in the prairie of their state, and you can go to like that website said again it was. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But basically, American from the, from, Prairie. From the first paragraph, this bottle is supposed to represent the Rocky Mountains. I'm gonna uh, start this because I suck at opening. I love the Rocky Mountains. Um, I run the Rocky Mountain states every single week. It's uh, yeah, it, it, it really yeah, it really sounds like. <laughs> Like, it really sounds like this bottle is is, is really what's uh, the whiskey that's going to represent the uh, the Pacific Northwest and the Rocky Mountains. Um, hopefully, better so than the Wyoming whiskey. I really enjoyed the Wyoming whiskey, but uh, can't get it again around here. So this is one that we can get from around here. I want that all. All right, who's got a knife? Give me a knife. Tell me what you think, Daryl. Don't give him a knife. Uh. <laughs> Okay, uh, but yeah, uh, just to give you guys like a little, uh, uh, a little fact here. Uh, we actually all four did graduate from the same high school. Yeah, I had the privilege of going to high school with these guys. Three the same year. <laughs> <laughs> There's the young and over there. Like yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> he looks older See, this than is why I don't give him a knife because he he, can't, he never can get it open. So. Yeah, <laughs> he has, he's gonna hurt somebody. Is what he's gonna do if you give him a knife. I got it open. Easy, don't break the table. Yeah, that table's coming apart. I know, don't, don't, don't break table. All right, so we got it open. Um, I'm a uh, weird corn dog for uh, corks, so I'm going to smell the cork first. The corn dog? <laughs> Is that corn dog? <laughs> corn dog. <laughs> you know I love my corn dogs. Oh, wow. It smells very I sweet. I don't care about the cork. I do. I know Daryl does. Too. It's sweet. Yeah. It smells so sweet. Cork me, brother. I'm going to enjoy this one. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm sorry. it's so sweet and, and soft. And there are there are variations of highways, right? There's uh, the as far as I know, I think there's two oh, yeah. Yeah, that, variations. Like, there's one that is it's uh, like the rare version. Yeah, I was gonna say there's one that is well more expensive than that one. I can't remember what it's actually called, whether it's a black label or a reserve or what it is, but it is there uh you know mostly when you're making your whiskeys or when most people make their whiskeys kinda like Jim Beam or the others, they have their select which is where their master distiller goes into their barrels and they find the best bottle that they have and then they turn that bottle into their select and that makes that bottle probably 20 to 30 dollars more than your average bottle not going to tell you a lot more sometimes a lot more uh, closer to 40 50 dollars more i'm going not going to tell you the price of this one until we all have tried it because none of them know how much i paid for this bottle i know how as much well. it is. And he knows that because he knows the bottle. But that doesn't count. I've wanted this bottle for um, a while now. But, but uh, we're going to pour one part each because of the price of the bottle. And then uh, also, I wish I could show you guys, but if you can look back on the Codigo video, uh, I've done a Codigo tequila video. This bottle is made the exact same. It has air pockets inside really, the glass. There's not really enough light in here. There's no, to show so it. you can see down the glass where it has air pockets. And I love the speckle inside the glass. But everybody's going to get one part. If anybody has anything to say while I'm pouring it, open your hearts out to the channel. We have a great family that uh, leave, chats back. Leave some comments. Please do. Shout out to Cody Go. I love that tequila. Why is that still in the brim of the bro? This have a nice color to it. I definitely feel like I'm going to enjoy this one. It uh, it smells a lot like Jim Beam. It does. Mm -hmm. 
I do get I do get a lot of Jim Beam off of it. it has a rich smell to it. Got about the same color. Uh huh. What? See, if, I don't know if you guys have watched yesterday's video. I know it was kind of long. This one's also going to be long. There's four opinions here. Uh, but if you look at the bottle, it burns my nose slightly. So the Eagle Rare that we done yesterday was dark. This is about a hue or two shy. This is probably the median between Eagle Rare and Basil Hayden. And I'm going to be really judgmental because I just tried Eagle Rare for the first time about <laughs> 10 minutes ago. So I'm really going to be judgmental over this He's one. He's also yet to try Elijah Craig. So <laughs> It's going to be a fun night. But if you guys know anything, Cody, he's always judgmental. So he is. So, so is Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, we're all going to get our glasses. And we're going to do our first sip together. It's not like a shot, guys. Uh, you try it, and then you hold it in a little bit. Yeah, and then do not it. finish it in one drink. All right. Cheers. Not Jim Beam. No. No, but it's good. Uh, it burns Very a little. Good. Burns a little. What do you think, Gully? Uh, Give your, give your initial, I, I, I gotta contemplate, just hey, So, off mine, uh, you get a lot of spice from it. More of like a, uh, a small side of a rum. You have that yes. little bit of vanilla, somewhat cherry taste. So you get a, uh, a Not getting hint. cherry, not getting cherry, getting that vanilla. You get a spice. That's that happy medium spice without getting, overdoing it. Getting, getting a lot of spice. Um, without overdoing the initial flavor of, say, hey, turning this into a vanilla bourbon, right? Uh, so it doesn't have that much of a burn either. It has a little bit of a bite, but that, again, guys, I've told you many times, uh, a teaspoon of water will get rid of that. Uh, and not for, even a teaspoon. Uh, yeah, not sometimes, even a teaspoon. Sometimes just, uh, sometimes just either a drop of water mm -hmm. or dropping a small ice cube in there just enough to chill it. Slightly, okay. it'll kill that burn. Too much water and it'll will break kill. the. It'll like I said before, yeah. it'll break the veins of yeah. the whiskey. It'll kill the bourbon itself if you put too much. Yeah, water. yeah. No, you don't want to go crazy. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want to take a bottle of water and just you know splash it in there. So you lose the burn, and the aftertaste is almost non-existent as far as some of the other bourbons I know Cody and several of us have tried. Is it, they stick around for a while, a and, and they want to hold on to the back side of your uh, mouth. I don't know why the light's flashing in and out, but um, it's the it's your your camera. My camera is adjusting again, like yeah. the other day. But uh, it holds fairly well. It stays strong together. What do, you, what do you guys think? Well, one thing though, think about it. Like uh, compared to last night, um, with the what was it called, American Eagle? Eagle Eagle Rock Eagle Rare. My Eagle name. Rare compared to the Eagle Rare, like uh, whenever I would swallow the Eagle Rare, it would burn all the way down my throat. This one, you get a little spice in your mouth, swallow it. There's no burn going down whatsoever. I mean, I like I, you guys said it didn't really light you up. It lit my gums on fire just now. <laughs> but <laughs> other than that, I, I, it's it's a decent whiskey. I, I could drink it. To a lot of people, it's different. So me and Cody can go drink several different whis different whiskeys and uh, not burn. Well, they may go drink it and it might burn because of uh, their everybody's taste buds are different. Nobody tastes the exact same thing the exact same mm -hmm. way. It also depends on how many taste buds me and you have burned up by trying. Very this. true. I bit half of mine off earlier when I was eating food. Um, Mark, what do, you, what do you think about the whiskey? It was it was really good. I really liked it. Um, for me, I kind of felt the bite going down as it was coming down, and then it had just a little bit of burn for about maybe a minute or two, and after that, it was. I mean, it's great. I absolutely love it. I'm probably gonna get this again. Okay. Um, I. I feel like, uh, well, I initially said that it smells like Jim Beam. It tastes nothing like any Jim Beam I've ever had. And now um, that you smell it, smell it again after you taste it. Wow. And see how much of a difference you get. It still smells like Jim Beam. It still smells um, like Jim Beam to you? To me, I get a difference. Um, to me, I get a crown. It is, um, it's like, it's like Justin said, it's a lot of spice. It's really smooth to me. Uh, it doesn't have a bite to me at all. Um, like, again, like he said, I, I get the vanilla notes. I really don't get the cherry notes. Well, one thing I can say on this versus just like last night, you know, some whiskeys to me, that first shot, it's hard for me. That second shot, it's hard for me. Come that third shot, I'm good to go by then. It's but, like drinking the first shot. Well, yeah, I mean, you got yeah, I mean, to get that feel for it just a little bit. Versus those last night compared to these past two that I've tried, I, I could sit here and I could drink this all day. It's 
love it. It's definitely something you can sip on. It even says it in its um, long, long backstory on the bottle, which I'm going to um, have to disagree with. I feel like they should have more of a story about the whiskey instead of promoting their organization. Like the first paragraph, uh, just yes no. the first paragraph to uh, initiate their organization. The second half of that should have been more about the whiskey age era and what come about to the whiskey, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Spend your time promoting it. Promote your heart out because uh, this is for uh, great reasons. This is definitely not a what I would consider a cheap bottle. No. What would you pay for this? Okay, so the question that everybody is waiting on. Folded up the receipt it's underneath the bottle, as you guys can see. Um, this was a forty dollar bottle. Okay, I thought it was more. Than that. So I really did. I did too. So whenever I thought I got into looking at it, because I heard you mention it before, um, it could also be my area. The reason why it's cheap. It could be. But I, I've looked area. at it. I've looked at it at the same store that you bought this at. And if I, you're in a different area, especially I guess, closer I, to Utah, I mean, it might be cheaper. I'm pretty sure I was looking at the um, the. Whatever the variation was I was talking about earlier, uh, what, what, whatever it is, it's, it's either a black label reserve, which I'm pretty it's sure is closer like, to a hundred dollars. It's something one. like yeah, that bottle is like the eighty to hundred dollar range. And when you come into whiskeys, I know these guys buy a lot of whiskeys too. And Cody's bought, he's been in a uh, extensive time with me in the ABC store with my videos, where a lot of your whiskeys are anywhere the. Like your good ones are from forty to a hundred dollars, and this one's starting at that low totem pole, that forty dollar bid. You guys watch me try all these cheap, for, cheap, cheap whiskeys for forty dollars. No, that's what I say. The last time I think I looked yeah. at this was when we were we were at the ABC store and we were looking for twenty twenty five dollar bottles or less, mm -hmm. and that's when I you know I, I seen this and I was like. And this has been probably three months ago or longer. And I was like, okay, forty dollars, you know, that's that's out of the question right now. You know, yeah. Uh, eventually, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll work our way to that. And I feel like that's why I felt like it was such a more expensive bottle. Now the other label, whatever, and you whatever it. it is, I know the other label is way more expensive. I think the other label is actually black. Yes, on the front, it's yes. got a black front facing. If I'm not mistaken, maybe wrong. I don't Google this stuff before I talk to you guys. I just go yeah. straight from where it's from. He, he randomly just grabs me one day and says, hey, let's make a YouTube video. I do. I, I just, I, that's what I do. That's how I wake up every day. I'm like, what am I going to do my video today? And then 30 seconds before I start this video, you can ask these guys. Uh, about a, five minutes before we started this, I was like, hey, guys, you all want to do a video together? And then here we are, four people deep doing a video about one <laughs> bottle of whiskey. Wait, it's a quad but, vid. But it's a quad vid where you get... <laughs> And uh, you get a personality from this guy, me, okay, these I'm getting, guys. I'm getting a slightly different hint off of the uh, off of the smell now. Seems like the more you drink it, the better it sets in, though. Right. Yes. All right. Smithers, smithers. So, guys, like I always say before we toast off for the end of the video, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. I gotta sip some more before <laughs> you have me just finish this. Up. It's uh, it's been a long video the last two days, and I understand that. And I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you. We catch the attention in the first few minutes, but these are more in-depth bottles. I spent a lot more money on these bottles. Uh, like I said, just these three bottles that I bought yesterday was over $100. So I wanted to expand into the uh, depths of these bottles with you guys. Um, I'm glad that I was able to have friends over with this video to talk to you guys about this bottle. Um, I know you get tired of hearing my opinion every single time, but... My opinion is to relevate this bottle to something that you're close to. So, like Cody said, if you've tried Jim Beam regular, you're going to love this. this I, takes, yeah, I do feel like This that. takes Jim now, Beam now, ta now, taste a wise, bit. Now, taste-wise, it does not taste like a Jim Beam. It does not taste like Jack Daniels. It does not taste like... It has its distinct It does not taste. taste like very many whiskeys I've had before. I really wouldn't even know what I would compare this to if I was going to compare it to something close. Mm -hmm. um, but if you go off your smells, I know a lot of you guys, like, uh, sometimes me, but my stomach's very rock gut. I can eat, drink, whatever. No, if you wanted to compare... If, if you like smelling something before you drink it... If you wanted to, pair, then if this you wanted to compare two, two local whiskeys, um, compare this to Wyoming. 
Okay. So compared to Wyoming whiskey, they don't taste alike. They really don't. Um, if you just wanted to compare it to two locals, though. But it's an out of state. I would honestly, I would give this one the upper hand, in my opinion. Um, the Wyoming. I found myself at the at the last bit of uh, the bottle of Wyoming that I had, not the one that he had. But the bottle that I had, I found that I, you know, I had to mix it with a little bit of something to be able to finish it off. Everybody, I, I enjoyed it, and I had really high hopes for Wyoming whiskey, just because I'd heard about it for so long, and I'd never actually gotten to try it. And, and the local store finally got it, and I grabbed as many bottles as I could. Um, I think this one, that the end of bottles, this are one stronger. is a, this one is at all of our local ABC stores, as far as I know. Which is weird for it to be two thousand miles away. Well, not necessarily. I mean, if people enjoy it, then... True. Right. Unlike the one yesterday, the Eagle Rare, if you guys haven't checked that video out, go check it out. That is a one-person purchase per day. You cannot over... You cannot buy that whiskey in bulk. That whiskey has to be bought per person once a day and no more than that. Guys, hit that sub button. If you love videos like this, let me know in the comments. Smash the comments. Let if you want to see more people, um, yeah. by the way, while I'm thinking about it, the video, uh, we're definitely going to do a video for the giveaway with Coleman Barrett soon. He's over the Coleman giveaway. I am over the Coleman giveaway. Um, I was over the other guy. He was in a rush, in a hurry. Yeah, I've been out of town, and he took care of it for me, so... We traded. We, we traded, so the, Coleman, the, the video for Coleman is coming soon. I would like to think next weekend... Um, I still got to figure out what I'm getting for him. I'm going for something that he's really going to enjoy since he is one of our friends. He's not somebody that likes whiskey, so we're trying to turn yeah, him he's on. Not, yeah, whiskey. he's not a big drinker, so I've really been spending the past couple of days contemplating what I was going to get for trying him. Trying to learn the guy, trying to see what he likes. What's so, he, uh, you know, uh, hopefully next weekend, if he's free and we're all free, uh, we'll have a video with Coleman either here or somewhere. <laughs> And probably here. Hopefully here. I have all the necessary equipment for here. But what you got there? Oh yeah. Don't forget. Uh, we did hit 100 subscribers. So me and you stuff to do the deer urine challenge. Uh, yes. Oh. Um, I didn't Tingle. know about this. Tyler Engel. Oh, I Tingle. Know. Okay. Hey buddy, hit me with those ingredients, or let me know how much you would charge to make the deer piss challenge happen. The deer piss. Uh, we will drink it. We will try it. Um, I'm not part of that tingle. Now he yeah. is. I'm not part of. The, I'm not part of that so, tingle. <laughs> uh, we will all four be trying that. Just let us know how much it costs, and I will pay it out of my pocket, not their pockets, and we will figure it out, guys. Like I said, hit that notification bell. It lets you know every single time that I post a video and I go live. One of these days, I'll buy a camera and do it. But Just be here the next time I'm here. Be there the next time these guys are here. Mark doesn't show up that often, but hey, if you guys love him, I'm sure he'll be back. Hey, you guys have a wonderful even, evening and an even better night. And everybody go subscribe to Justin Holland and Daryl yeah. Evans. Thank you. If you guys haven't done it yet, hit that sub button. I know I say it a lot, but we're trying to grow the family. Numbers mean nothing to me, but I want the family to grow and keep contemplate or keep growing in a sense of where I have different stuff to try. 150 subscribers is our next giveaway. Right now we're at 106. Can we get there? I know we can. Oh, Guys, yeah. we're going to cheers it off real quick and then see if anybody else has anything else to say. And then we will end the video for you guys. Cheers. Hope everyone has a wonderful, safe night during this COVID-19. All right, Cody said his piece. I've said mine. Daryl, you got anything? Um, I'll tell you what, you hit 150 subscribers. I'll also give them an unreleased song. All right. Hey, there we go. That's, what, that's what I was getting ready to say. We hit 150 and we'll have live Daryl on here. Hey, Daryl, what's your uh, YouTube channel? Go ahead and give it out to people. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to get it out, get yeah. it out there. Daryl Evans Jr., you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, any social media platform. Uh, you can also find me on Pandora, Spotify, all those, except for Apple Music. I forgot to put in my Apple ID, so I didn't get to release Apple Music. But uh, You need yeah. to release the Apple Music, that's what I use. I really, really <laughs> and I, I even have an Apple phone. So, I mean, you know, but, yeah. But that's my piece. Let me get it. All right. Mark, you got anything? Um, I just want to say how thankful I am just to sit with some good friends and try some good whiskey. And um, hit that sub button, like he said. 
and so we can grow this family and make it as big as we possibly can. Well, you heard it, Garrett. You heard it here first, guys. Um, from the ringleader himself, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and an even better night because you never know what's going to happen on this channel. It could be guns. It could be whiskey. It, it could, could be, be beer. Anything. It could be anything. Maybe four, maybe four wheelers soon. Four wheelers. You could show up one day and I'm playing a freaking video game. You never know what it's going to be. Hit that subscribe <laughs> button. I if appeal to everyone. Games, hey, if it's video games, I got Mark down here. Hey, you guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys on You Never Know What's Gonna Happen Tomorrow. You guys have a great night. See you guys next time. Take it easy, please.